chat. Uh, next, I would like to introduce to you Mr. Jeff Hegard. He has been instrumental over the last several years in helping shape the foundation's new role and its structure. And he will give you a lot more information regarding these community committees, which is the concept that is very unique to this foundation. Jeff? We've been struggling with this question of how the, the, the Lower St. Croix Foundation can fit in and be a place that can draw us to get really clear that we have an opportunity here with trying to, do, this, is, this is an experiment, trying to do five communities, putting a little circle around them and seeing if they can work together to build that, that fiber that connects us. And not just using money to fund projects, but actually community energy to, to do more of a, we'll call it a bottom up approach, citizen driven, uh, approach to how projects get done, how solutions get get uh, get implemented, and how we really start to build a new kind of connectivity between us. Uh, my I, my philosophy that that I live under is that we're breaking apart slowly. We're, we're drifting, whether it be in our smaller communities or larger communities, we're 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 becoming more and more siloed. We're just the nature of things, and I believe that the health of our communities in the future is going to be by rebuilding that connectivity. And it starts very small. And so on one hand, we were thinking, wow, wouldn't it be cool if there were, you know, 150 people here? That, and I'm, I'm actually pleased that this is the group we have right now. Because to me, coming together to have this discussion is a start for us that can start at a very low level very, you know, we'll call it low, orga low organization, low kind of organic, and hopefully build something over time that connects us in a way that allows each community to be politically autonomous, yet these five communities have a new kind of connectivity. So when you think about um, the, the traditional way of doing things, you might see almost a, a, a pyramid or a, a, a funnel where, where where the, the, the project that one wants to get done in a community starts here and you go and beg, beg the funders and beg the community foundations or whoever has the resources to help you initiate your project, uh, you go and do that. And, and this, what we've tried to imagine is actually turning that whole system upside down. Where, as David said, everyone is a philanthropist. And, but philanthropy may not have anything to do with wealth. It has to do with community energy with our own resources, our own ideas, coming together to do things that wouldn't be done otherwise. And that, that, that could range from everything from flower pots along, the, along Highway 18 to, to encouraging a new park to if you really want to you know, get wild, a community center for the, that serves children, art, folks of all ages. I mean, it, that it depends on how far we want to go with this vision. My sense is that if we start really small and start to build the relationships between us, we can do a lot of great things that make us feel more connected and enhance our community. So uh, Tom and I actually have the fun part of this is that you know, we're talking, these guys, <laughs> they're talking about the big money and how the process works, the bank, and you know, it's ba basically the St. Croix Valley Foundation is in many ways a bank. It's a holding company. It invests money and it, and it makes, fiduciary driven decisions that are legally defensible. We're talking about something different here, way down to the ground, our community using that bank, using that system to fund what we wanna do. So the next piece of this, right, this next step is to talk about how, what kind of projects that we wanna focus on. And now we've thrown out four categories and I can't remember exactly what they all are. So but there's four categories, there's four tables here. And some are to do with beautification and land. Uh, help me out here. What? Community creativity. Community creativity. <laughs> land and water. Arts and, culture. Arts and culture. Those don't have to be the committees. They're a, they're a starting ground for a framework discussion that hopefully will grow. We have another meeting on the 22nd, a couple other meetings after that. Slowly this should grow to the people to, to find out which are the, the most important projects that need, we can start with. The long-term ones that are big visionary and the ones that we can do just next week. So, what did I miss? I must have missed lots. You said a lot of 
No, I didn't. I didn't get. No, I didn't. I, I specifically steered away from anything too specific. Oh, you get up here now. <laughs> Tom's job. Oh, you. Okay. Thank you all.